Hey broskies, it's Sona here, and today I'm gonna be fixing your art. What's that? You think your art is good? Well, it's actually bad. Okay, I'm kidding. Don't cancel me. On Twitter, I said, send me your art and I'll fix it. And boom, nearly a thousand replies. Let's see who needs my totally professional opinion. First off, gotta say cute art style, and the issue is right here. <laughs> it's, it's this, okay? Look at the size of this, and then look at the size of this. One of their legs decided to skip leg day, and I'm gonna fix that. So I'm just gonna use the liquify tool, make this bigger. I also think this is a bit flat. I also think the butt looks too square. It's gonna do this. Okay, so before and after. Now she has not skipped leg day. You're welcome. Is this like Shaggy from Scooby-Doo? All right, I got you. Just give me a minute. Let me just do this real quick. Our procedure is almost complete. Banana. Before the surgery and after. Patient satisfied. <gasps> oh, oh my God. Those eyes have seen things. But it's okay, I can fix him. So I'm just gonna I use the lookify tool a bit. Let's also add some light to his eyes. <coughs> This dude got the NPC look. Okay, this is the eyes before and after. Oh, hey. I think he looks a little bit less like an NPC now. But his smile, it looks fake. So I'm gonna change that too. Just raise it a little bit. I'm gonna give him some blush. Actually, I'm gonna make his mouth open and smiling. I feel like that would look more natural. From NPC to get real. I just changed stuff up a little bit and made him look less dead inside. I think I did a pretty good job. Okay, we got this cat gal. Very cute, but where are her organs? And also her hands look like melted ice cream. Oh, soda, maybe the hands are a stylistic choice. That is a possibility. But I don't care. It is bothering me. I need to save her hands and her organs. Anyways, I feel her torso is like too short. A little bit more down here. And okay, I think that'll give her enough space for more torso. Boom, boom. Okay. Boom, boom. Okay. Boom, 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 boom. boom, boom. Okay. I have no ill intent with this, okay? I'm just trying to help you out a little bit. Some clothing folds. I also think her shoulder is sticking out like way too much over here. Let me just do this. Okay, you know what? Sometimes the liquify tool can't be used for everything. Make the shoulder a bit less long. Okay, now to do something about those hands because yeah. I think since a big part of her design is her sleeves being oversized, I'm just gonna make them covering her hands as a whole. And also because we don't want her to look like Slender Man. Unless you do want that. Wow, that is much better. But one last thing that bothers me, her neck. Let me just snap that back into place. All right, before and after. Made her torso longer and I fixed that little shoulder issue. One thing I will say, I really love your exaggerated art style and I feel like I definitely could have incorporated that better into my changes. Oh yeah, her hands are also gone. Anyways, I think I did pretty good. All right, we got the good old Roblox avatar. His eyebrows be looking like a PNG image. But more importantly, what is going on with this dude's arm? Okay, I see. Maybe they're trying to make him like ultra buff, but that is not how muscles work. I'm just gonna draw over this arm. Also, why is his arm ripped and then he has a baby hand? I'm gonna fix that too. Do the shading. Okay, I'm sorry. Those eyebrows are like really bothering me. They don't look real. Just gotta fix that real quick luscious eyebrows from this to this his buff man baby hand syndrome has been cured you're welcome this person seems very excited okay first off those are like some of the prettiest eyes i've seen beautiful this entire drawing is just glowing however it looks like this part of her body has dislocated I'm just gonna draw over this it's gonna be a little bit hard to blend everything because there's so many different airbrushes going on okay i think we're getting somewhere I still feel like the shoulder's too high oh, i think i made it worse let me just shave this off real quick Dang, that neck is thick. I'm gonna help her with that. All right, the surgery is complete. Her shoulder has been relocated. I do believe this is a good improvement. On to the next one. Oh my God. I have never seen a face that low in my life. What happened? Are you okay? Yeah, I'm wondering the same thing. This flower is nice though. Liquify tool, please show me your wisdom. Okay, never mind. I actually just started using the liquify tool for the first time today. I'm having way too much fun with it. I'm sorry, guys. All right, first things first, gonna erase this face. I'm gonna put it back later facial erasure successful oh wait i missed a spot all right now i'm going to enlarge the facial area because there's like no room to put a face anywhere the bangs are going to be way up here instead i'm going to use the liquify tool a bit to give some space okay now i'm going to go back to the original i'm going to steal the face Yoink. identity theft i'm going to erase this because i don't need it copy and paste it over here i think this other eye is way too small lower the opacity and now i'm going to trace it because i'm a terrible person they also grew their eyebrows back okay real quick another thing i notice is that the legs cut off like way down here 
even though the knees are all the way up here. So I'm actually gonna move this upwards. I think right there is good. I feel like the back is coming out too much. All right, I finally finished. So before and after. I think I changed it up quite a bit. I know it's not perfect, but I did my best. One thing I will say though, I definitely messed up your shoes, I'm sorry. But at least they have room for a face now. Wow, this art style is beautiful. beautiful. However, that neck is a bit long. Maybe not giraffe long, but too long. Nothing the selection tool cannot fix. And right there looks good. Okay, before and after. Oops, I kind of messed up the text a little bit. You're welcome. By the way, I love your art style. Kathleen. Well, I see why Kathleen is so upset. Her wrist is literally broken. Let's fix that. Actually, now that I'm really looking at it, she's got some yaoi hands, so I'm gonna fix that too. Once again, I'm not the best at drawing hands, but I like to think that I'm decent at it, at the very least, or maybe at the most. I'll let you guys judge on my hand drawing skills. I normally do thick line art, very thick, but this person's line art is on the thinner side, so I'm gonna try to match that. Words of wisdom when in doubt, just use your hand as a reference. Did I do that for this? No. I probably should have. Okay, I need to redo this thumb real quick. I'm sorry, I kind of ruined your Nintendo Switch. Gonna have to get a new one. There we go. Light shading. I almost forgot she has a tattoo. Her yaoi hands have been cured. Look at that. But there's one more thing I gotta do. Let's make that battery green. Boom. Now she's happy. There is no way to fix him. His muscles just need a little more toning. I'm gonna move this up here. There we go. Fill this in. Now I'm just going to decapitate him, get rid of the legs. Those muscles were too swole. By the way guys, check out my merch shop, link in description. Just trust the process guys. I know what I'm doing. His face is kind of derpy. Sorry, that was kind of rude, but he's a chad so he needs to look like one. I just realized his left foot only has three toes. He's quirky. Make this top hat a little nicer. Bloop. All right, are you guys ready for this? I don't think you're ready for this because neither am I. I present to you Mr. Swole before. He's pretty handsome. And after. Look at those juicy, thick, parentheses on thick, swole, ripped legs. And three toes. And his top hat has a smiley face. From eating McDonald's and developing cankles, too very handsome and also kind of a sleep paralysis demon. All right, so we got this red furry gal. Actually a very cute art style. However, she kind of looks like she got squished with a boot. Not like the bigger boot from SpongeBob because then she'd be dead. But I think she could be stretched out a little bit more. <laughs> I'm tired. Okay, before and after, I think she definitely looks less squished. Sorry, I kind of cut off her legs. All right, I just gotta say it. The teeth of this one are really bothering me. But why are they skin color? Does she actually have teeth or is that just her lip? Let's just say it's teeth. Also, these hands are questionable. Let me just do this real quick. There we go. She went to the dentist. Wow, that is one swollen wrist compared to this one. This elbow is looking kind of sus. Okay, much better. So these fingers kind of look like french fries, which is kind of cool because I love french fries. Mmm, that was some yummy fries. But they're definitely too long. Also, something that uh, some artists tend to forget, which I also tend to forget sometimes, is that fingers have three joints. I mean, you can tell by looking at the lines on your own fingers. But since these fingers are so long and they're bending flat down like this, it looks like it's missing the other joint. Instead of being flat, it would look more like this. I'm trying, okay. Anyways, I'm gonna just finish this real quick. All right, before and after. Her teeth are no longer made of skin, or maybe that was part of her character. Oopsies. And her fingers are no longer french fries. You're welcome. 